Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brad Broadway Road to Glory uh, community series here. Uh, when we last left Brad, they had lost pretty handily to Wake Forest on the road. Uh, coming back home to take on uh, an equally tough SMU team. And as we get into the pregame and get ready to get this one started, Brad and Navy will be looking to get back in the win column here. Um, having two wins and then and then losing uh, up in Wake or out in Wake Forest. So uh, this is option offense. So this often starts on the ground on first and second down. And there's a nice block uh, by Brad getting his guy to the ground. So here he, he again is going to go over the middle to uh, make a tough catch on third and ten. And that is uh, where a lot of his catches are made there on third down when they need a need to get a clutch first down. He's there. So. Um, Going deep on this one, and he's able to beat the corner, uh, not get in the end zone, but get first and goal here. So that's a big gain for Brad. Uh, here he takes his uh, takes to the the knees of the uh, corner, getting him down on the ground right away. They are not able to get in the end zone there um, right off that play. So anyway, here's another big catch. Um, already trailing 21 to seven here, close to halftime. So Navy has got some catching up to do. Maybe this will mean they'll throw the ball. Um, Brad kind of breaking off his route back to the sideline there, able to get a nice catch and another first and goal. And it's 21-7 with only 11 seconds left here in the half, and they're able to connect not to Brad but to another wide receiver for the touchdown, cutting the lead down to 21-14. Now quickly, SMU scores again to make it 28-14 and a 14-point lead early in the third quarter as Brad and Navy try to get things going on offense and match scores here. Uh, this ball not thrown to Brad, but it does go for a first down as they're trying now in the fourth quarter to rally from two touchdowns down. Again, uh, thrown to the other side, Brad the decoy, but they get the first down. Here's a big third and five play out to the sideline. Brad makes the catch and gets the first down, and yet another first and goal. On first and goal, they are running option, getting down close to the goal line, right about the one yard line. Brad is taken out on the next play, but Navy does get the touchdown as it is Sims here, 28-21. So with two minutes left, Brad trying to get them downfield here. Makes a nice catch to just about midfield, actually to the SMU side of the 50. And uh, cutting across the middle again, calling for the ball, getting it, making a guy or two miss, and getting uh, further into SMU territory here, looking for the tying score. 28-21 now. Um, it seems like forever Brad wide open waiting for a pass finally does get it and oh so close to getting in the end zone again yet another first and goal after a big catch by Brad here we go second and goal and they're fighting hard for that end zone and getting in for the tying score so Navy has come back two scores to tie this only 31 seconds left they're going to take a couple deep shots here with Brad if they can he gets a step on his man he makes a catch and wait a second they rule him out of bounds I don't know, a close one. You only need one foot in college, and it looked like he was close to getting it. So anyway, third and eight, 25 seconds left now. And Brad um, is the decoy here again, getting a first down to the wideout. So we've got 17 seconds in rolling for them to take another shot downfield, hopefully getting into field goal range. Brad makes a move on his man, cuts to the middle. The ball is thrown to him, and oh my goodness, he drops what might have been the winning score there. That's a tough one for Brad to swallow. Hoping to get another shot here. Only six seconds, though. Field goal is pretty much ruled out here. So they'll give it a shot deep. Can Brad get himself open here? Coverage backs off. He's going deep anyway. This ball's heaved up. Is that out of the end zone? I don't know. Oh, Brad comes down with an unbelievable catch. And if that stands, which it looks like, and he's going to run right into the stands there. That's crazy. Come on back, Brad. Anyway... That is a touchdown. It will go as the winning score as time expires. Brad is indeed a hero on campus here, as you're going to see some replays here of this amazing catch in the back of the end zone. This one, he does have a foot in bounds. As you see the, the quarterback heave it up, beautiful arc on that ball, coming down into Brad's hands, and he's able to drag that foot in bounds for the winning score as you see the dejected SMU defenders there as that call is made. I think he might have even had two feet in. Brad is the hero on this day as time expires in front of the home crowd. Just an incredible catch. 
And as you see, even just a couple more angles on this incredible play, Navy able to pull out a game that they were trailing by two touchdowns um, late into the game. And they come back with the help of Brad and some wonderful catches down the stretch and none bigger than this one as time expires. So the win for Navy, a huge one over SMU, 35-28. to they take this game that looked like it was uh, lost. So nine catches, 222 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Yardage-wise, that is Brad's best day, and that is the best day of any Navy wide receiver, as you will hear a little bit more about in Aaron Andrews' report coming up now. Welcome to another edition of EA Sports Road to Glory series. The buzz behind our subject continues to grow, and as always, I am here to provide you with the latest news. He continues to build his legend on campus after this week's amazing performance. And for Navy, it's time to celebrate a new record. He stands alone atop the list for most receiving yards gained in a contest. We now go to our Kirk Herb Street for more on this record-breaking display. Thanks, EA. For Navy, the sounds of victory will resonate with the team until the next time these two rivals take the field. The win was due in large part to our Road to Glory student-athlete. He made things happen with his hands and had a great day receiving. Sometimes the stat sheet doesn't tell the whole story, and that's what happened with our Road to Glory student-athlete this week. He had a great game in the way that leaders are supposed to have a great game. He led by example, and he came up big when it really mattered. I can't wait to see how the remainder of this season plays out for this guy. For Notre Dame, they're going to be challenged by this incredible talent, and they'll need to look for a way to stifle his impact on the game. All right, EA. Thanks for checking in, Kirk. This season is far from over, and we expect to be back soon with another edition of our Road to Glory series. Until then, I'm Aaron Andrews for EA Sports. Come on back next time as Brad takes on Notre Dame.